In the last clip, we saw how we could use those trigonometry ratios, sine, cos, and tan, those things, to find the length of the side of a triangle. This time we're going to do something a little different. We'll see how we could use sine, cos, or tan to find a missing angle in a triangle when we've been given the length of two sides. So I'll start you off with an example here, and then we'll move over here later and you'll have a practice problem to try on your own. So let's take a peek at the triangle we're going to solve. A lot of times you'll be given a triangle that looks something like this, where we've got the length of two sides, 17 meters for AC and 22 meters for AB. However, we're only given one angle. This is a 90 degree angle, and angle A is missing as well, angle B is missing. And we're actually being asked to find the measure of angle A to the nearest tenth of a degree. So let me show you how you would do that. The first thing I think we should do is list which side is our opposite, our adjacent, and our hypotenuse. So we'll do that in step one. Okay, so depending on where we are in the triangle, that will change which side is our opposite and which side is our adjacent. And since uh, we're being asked to solve for angle A, we're situated right here. The first side I'll label is our hypotenuse, and it's 22 meters long, it's AB. And I know that because it's the side that's opposite to this red square. The tip of that red square is actually pointing towards the hypotenuse. The next side I'll label is our opposite, and that's CB. And that's because this line is the only line that's not actually touching this corner, angle A. So that's the opposite. And that just leaves the last one as the adjacent, AC. There's step one. Now it's time for some so katoa. Remember, these are three trig ratios. And when I'm finding an angle, I need to pick a ratio that'll have both numbers. It'll have two numbers. Remember, there's two sides here. One's 17, one's 22. So I need to find the trig ratio that's going to use both of those numbers. So I'm going to look for cos, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. And the reason I'm taking that is because if I'm right here, adjacent over hypotenuse has both numbers. You can see, for example, if I took sine, it just wouldn't work because I have opposite over hypotenuse, and there's a missing side here. So I'm going to go with cos. So let's start out writing the ratio. We're going to take cos, so I'll say cos, and then I need the name of the angle. And since I don't know it, I'll just call it A, since we're sol solving for angle A. And then cos is made up of adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is 17, and the hypotenuse is 22. Now I'll need to isolate for the angle, which is the capital A. To do that, I have to move the cos, the COS, to the other side. And we're doing what's called an inverse cos. So that looks something like this. I'll say A equals, and then I'll write inverse cos, which is just COS to the exponent negative 1. And then that's in front of our proportion, which is 17 over 22. At this point, in order to solve for A, I'm going to need my scientific calculator. So let's bring that in now. In order to enter what I see here, I need to find my inverse cos button. In other words, the cos with the little negative 1 exponent. And I see it right above the cos button. It's right there, cos to the negative 1. And it's yellow on mine, which means I need to do shift. So I'll say shift cos. And then I'll put 17 divided by 22 in brackets. Divided by 22. And I'll close bracket it. 17 divided by 22 is my answer right here. And then if I hit enter, I get my angle, 39.4 degrees. Now your calculator might work a little bit differently. You might need to punch in the 17 divided by 22 first and then hit your inverse cos button. So angle A is 39.4 degrees. And that's rounded to the nearest tenth of a degree like the question asked for. And now it's time for some practice. So let's see if you can find the measure of angle A to the nearest tenth of a degree for this triangle. And just remember the steps I showed you on the left. So go ahead and try that one now. So
So if everything went OK for you, you should have got an answer of angle A is equal to 48.2 degrees. We listed the adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse sides in step one. Then we chose adjacent over hypotenuse, in other words, cos A. Then we moved cos over to the other side with inverse cos. And then finally, used our scientific calculator to punch this in and get 48.2 degrees.